Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of invasive mole. A 26 year old female patient came to us for a pelvic MR scan. This patient complained for amenorrhea followed by parvaginal bleeding. She had beta HCG level of more than 100,000. One week back it was around 14,000 only. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus, it is bulky. You can see diffuse cystic spaces at the central part of the uterus. There is no associated fetal parts visualized here. These diffuse cystic spaces are forming the snowstorm appearance, which goes in favor of gestational trophoblastic disease. Now we want to look for the invasion of this molar tissue. If you look carefully, the posterior myometrium is quite thinner than the anterior one. We need to search for any echogenic exophytic part that extends from the molar tissue to the myometrium or even it may cross the perimetrium and invade into the adjacent rectal wall or bladder wall. Now as this is a transabdominal ultrasound, these features may not be well visualized here. So we want to put the color Doppler ultrasound to assess further. Now here's the color Doppler picture. You can see some large irregular tornado shaped lacunar vessels which are showing turbulent flow and noted at the posterior and anterior aspect. These are breeding vessels extending to the myometrium. These tornado vessels are the feature of adjacent myometrial invasion. This type of tornado vessels or bridging vessels are also seen in placental invasion which you see in morbidly adherent placenta. Now on this transverse section you can see these tornado vessels or lacunar vessels are seen at the left anterolateral part bridging the molar tissue to the myometrium indicating it as a part of invasion. Here's the longitudinal view at the left lateral aspect where you can see these tortuous vessels and this is the uterine artery going to supply these tornado vessels. Here's the grayscale skull transverse section view. You can see the central intrauterine mass with diffuse cystic spaces forming the snowstorm appearance. This is the color Doppler view and you can see the tornado vessels at the left anterolateral and the posterior wall. If you are interested in color Doppler, I always tell you to put color Doppler in any lesion that you get. And when you are putting color Doppler, don't forget to take sample from that part also. So we have taken the sample and you can see this is the right uterine artery on the right image and it is showing low impedance flow with a good amount of flow on diastole. The early diastolic notch is also absent here and on the left image you can see we have taken sample from the tornado vessel which is also showing low impedance flow. Here is another picture we have taken sample from the left uterine artery on the right image which is dilated and tortuous and showing low impedance flow as like the right one. And on the left image, we have taken sample from tornado vessel where you again can see the low impedance flow. I have already told that this patient was sent to us for an MR imaging. These are few of MR scan pictures. I want to show you the contrast image. This is the left anterolateral wall where you can see these aberrant tortuous vessels here, which are the tornado vessels. These tornado vessels are also seen along the posterior wall. So in summary, a bulky uterus with central intrauterine mass with diffuse cystic spaces without any associated fetal parts are seen giving a snowstorm appearance, suggesting gestational trophoblastic disease. Large irregular tornado shaped lacuna vessels with turbulent low impedance flow are noted at the posterior and left anterolateral aspects of the mass, suggesting bridging vessels extending to the myometrium with irregular and indistinct boundaries between the mass and the myometrium at those sites. So this feature suggests it as a case of invasive mole. Now the take home message. In case of invasive mole, don't forget to check the perimetrium as well as the bladder and rectal walls carefully with color Doppler to exclude invasion into those structures.
this may be well appreciated on transvaginal sonography as well as on MR imaging but if you get the patient don't forget to check them on transabdominal ultrasound also thank you for watching this video subscribe to our youtube channel for more see you on the next one have a nice day